A former NHL player says the Greater Toronto Hockey League was offside when it denied his bid to create a series of teams with guaranteed roster spots for visible minorities. The GTHL is the world's largest minor hockey organization with more than 40,000 registered players and nearly $9 million in annual revenue. But as TSN's Rick Westhead reports, there are questions tonight about the money and the message. As Alou feeds it in front. Former National Hockey League player Akeem Aliou had a vision for helping to diversify the Greater Toronto Hockey League, a minor hockey league that has helped to cultivate some of the game's biggest stars. Just working with them has just been extremely difficult. They've put um, block after block in, in our way. Aliou says the GTHL for two years has stonewalled efforts to begin an organization known as the Toronto Dream, whose teams would each have three to five roster spots guaranteed for BIPOC players. Aliou says the fight has exposed an uncomfortable truth about minor hockey, that it's big business. These organizations are supposed to be run as not-for-profits. The issue of money, power and corruption is the biggest problem we have in minor hockey right now. The GTHL published a report only seven months ago that reported racism is systemic in the league. And the numbers tell the story about how little diversity there is in the GTHL. Of those who responded to a GTHL survey last season asking how players racially identify themselves, almost 60% said they were white. 1.1% said they were black. Something radical like this, I think, could really open the door to a whole lot of players and, and create a whole lot of good. The GTHL wanted Aliu to create so-called house league programs for recreational players and see what the future might hold later about the most competitive teams. In an interview, the GTHL's executive director said that adding more AAA teams would dilute talent. The GTHL says that player enrollment is down in recent years, and many within the game say that roster spots should be earned on merit alone. Aliu says he expects the city and provincial government to get involved, since GTHL teams play on Toronto-owned rinks, and provincial funding makes its way down to leagues like the GTHL. Rick Westhead, CTV News, Toronto.